type of global solution network is watchdog networks. Watchdog networks are in the transparency business. They scrutinize institutions, governments, global institutions, companies, others, to ensure that they behave appropriately. Uh, watchdogs provide objective oversight in a world where major problems are increasingly understood as global. Uh, these networks are watching for issues around human rights, corruption, environmental impacts, uh, financial activity. And they're in the business of transparency in the sense that they're creating it or they're fighting for it. And this is a good thing because sunlight is the best disinfectant and unfortunately the world needs a lot of disinfecting. And by scrutinizing these institutions, they help make them naked. And as I said years ago in a book with uh, David Tickall called The Naked Corporation, if you're going to be naked, there are some corollaries. One of them is that fitness is no longer optional. Or if you're going to be naked, you have to get buff. Now, watchdog networks are on the leading edge using new technology to, to take action with credible data. In the 21st century ultra-transparent world where people at their fingertips can scrutinize, find out what's going on, organize collective responses, instant communications allow every step or misstep to be observed and scrutinized. And because institutions now live uh, under a microscope, they need to open up their communication increasingly. Or it may be opened up for them, forced transparency. Now the gold standard pretty much of watchdog networks is Human Rights Watch, certainly one of the great ones. It, it operates in, in over 70 countries and it's relying on individual donations for funding and using the internet as a platform for its work. It's seen dramatic results from its work in the downfall of Gaddafi, the demonstrations in the Arab Spring movement, and the uh, civil war in Syria, where it has people on the ground risking their lives trying to understand what's actually going on with, say, chemical weapons. Their work drives public debate and creates change where governments are slow to respond. You have environmental watchdogs like the Global Forest Watch. And they combine the power of local observers with high-tech capability, funding and expertise to improve forest management and reduce deforestation rates and forest fire damage. Mapping technology has made it possible to enable watchdogs like Harass Map. Uh, they use crowdsourced data to pinpoint dangerous areas, for example, where women are being harassed in Cairo in Egypt. The Sunlight Foundation opens up public data and adds value by providing interpretation and context for users. As such, we would call them a watchdog network. Watchdog networks are really critical for collecting, aggregating, combining disparate sources of information to reveal problems and sound alarms, calls to action for uh, pressing issues facing all kinds of topics ranging from climate change to uh, child poverty to famine to I don't know, violations of international law. They're on the leading edge, capitalizing on the potential that new technology offers for collaboration of granular data. Also, the, the, they're working in, in the development of new knowledge and using technology for informing action with credible information. So whether exposing corruption, shaming human rights abusers, or conserving the environment, Watchdog networks are using technology to access data to highlight problems, to take up causes, and to promote change. And I'll tell you, if you're not buff, it's getting tougher and tougher to do your bad things, to be a tyrant, to be a polluter, or to create other problems in the world, because increasingly watchdog networks are bringing transparency to the table.